You've been a naughty boy. How do you like to be famous with your drone for five minutes? Well, I was. <laughs> Let me tell you the story. Stay tuned. G'day, I'm Ozzy Mark, as some of you know. And hey, let's, let's not pretend that's my real name. <laughs> my real name's Mark Luton. You guys know, don't you? <laughs> well, anyway, um, the reason why I'm um, talking to camera today is because some of you don't know my dirty little secret that gave me five minutes of fame or infamy, should I say. Um, and that is, apparently I'm the first person in Australia to be fined for using a drone inappropriately. <laughs> Yay me! <laughs> That's nothing to be proud of. I'm pretty embarrassed about it actually, which is probably why I haven't talked about it for a while. But oh. it's been a couple of years since that happened, and um, so I, I think I'm over it enough to talk about it. <laughs> Basically, what happened was um, I had a Phantom DJI Phantom One, and I used to post videos quite regularly, and. I really was naive like I think a lot of newbies still are today and I was doing things I shouldn't have been doing. And I wasn't causing anybody any harm or any problems, you know, so you don't really think about it, do you? Until I got a phone call. And the phone call basically said that some nice person, I use nice in inverted commas, um, had reported me to CASA saying that I had done uh, some wrong things and on my videos were on YouTube so that CASA could see them. You've been a naughty boy. And so CASA duly got in contact with me and they said that they had been going over my YouTube channel with a fine tooth comb and found that I had, um, yeah, I was just embarrassing, that I had uh, breached a number of regulations with regards to drone flight. This is back in 2015. In fact, I think it was Australia Day 2015 or thereabouts, maybe a little bit before that anyway. Um, and they said that they had found uh, in excess of, um, well, they said eight to ten breaches of the regulations. Australian CASA regulations. Now, uh, that included such things as, well, I flew at night for one. Obviously, I didn't go very high, I'm not allowed to fly at night. I flew um, within five kilometres of the airport. Yep. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a couple of videos of me doing that. Um, I flew over a uh, cr crowd of people. Basically, it was like an event, a running event, and I flew over them, and it was all good footage, looked good, people waving, you know, nobody was unhappy about me being there. But this person who complained pointed out to CASA, and um, yep, I was less than 30 metres from people, so there's another breach. Um, and Worst of all, this is probably the most stupid one, is that I actually uh, flew out from the balcony of my own residence uh, with the drone facing me, so I reversed out from the, um, with my face clearly on the video and they could clearly see uh, the place that I was at. So they could see who I was, they could see that I was flying this drone, they could see the controller in my hand and uh, anyway, long story short, they've, uh, they got in touch with me. So they said um, that they would be in touch. They hadn't decided how much they were going to find me, and that they would be in touch. So anyway, I came home feeling absolutely gutted, of course. And uh, first thing that I did was jumped on YouTube and I got rid of all of those, um, all of those offending videos. Just deleted them, they're gone. I don't even have a copy of them. And so when they got back in touch with me in about, I think it was maybe 48 hours after that, they said, um, look, we can see that you've um, deleted them all. So we know that you're obviously, obviously realize what you've done and um, because no one else is, uh, you know, you're a precedent. 
We will, uh, we've decided that even though there's eight to 10 breaches, we're going to only fine you for one breach. Oh, you would believe how relieved I was. So um, anyway, one breach. You know how much that was? That's $850 Australian a couple of years ago. Now people are getting fined in excess of $20,000. I heard of a local bloke, a um, young teenager who flew a drone over our supercar event here in Townsville and was caught by the police. So uh, he's facing a way heftier fine than me. So my five minutes of fame or, or infamy, should I say, are um, long gone. Whew. Except that it's still on the internet. Isn't everything? My videos are gone, but um, the website, which um, I'll put down in the description for you, for those of you who could be bothered reading it, um, clearly starts showing that uh, I'm the first person, first Queenslander in Australia to be fine for use of a drone inappropriately. There you go. Now you know. My secret's out. So if I can get fined, and I'm sure there are people with less experience than me, so just be careful. Check your regulations, guys. That's all I can say. Check all the regulations. If you're in Australia, then you've got CASA rules. If you're in um, America, in the US, then you've got the FAA rules. Wherever you are, there are sets of rules. Some countries don't allow you to fly drones at all. There you go. That's my story. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this is a lesson to you all. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.